Hello there. Hi, um, I'm Seth Rogan, and uh, uh, I'll tell you a bit about myself. This is my room. This is where I dwell and spend my spare time. And this is the ceiling of my room, which is extremely low. And actually, no, it isn't. I'm I'm actually uh, seven foot nine, and it's just a big optical illusion. I'm just trying to trick you there. <laughs> um. This is some of my stuff. Uh, this is my toilet. And um, this is one of the many perks of having your grandfather as a plumber. And uh, it, I'm thinking, you know, it's pretty good he's not something like a mortician. Because in my room just might be kind of spooky. You know, I'd have trouble sleeping in here. And uh, this, was, this is the other perk of having your grandfather being a plumber. Gold Bond Medicated Body Powder. Here's foot itch. And, uh, people people actually go into his store and try to, like, convince him that they got this great connection down at the Gold Bond factory and, uh, like, trying to unload it on him. Like, it's like this is, like, the mecca of all problems solving. And they walk in all slick-like. And they're like, yeah, man. Got the Gold Bond medicated about a year. You, you give me that bathtub for free, I'll hook you up, man. I got a connection down there at the factory. You know, I'm thinking, it'd be kind of weird working at a gold bond factory. You just know that your clients have this funky foot problem. You still got to look at them with a straight face. <laughs> be like, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Jones, you ordered the three boxes of gold bond. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> have a nice walk home. <laughs> And, uh, this is, this is my power fan, just in case Vancouver ever gets a heat wave, I'll be prepared. Those other suckers all around the block, they'll be sweating their arses off, but not me, I'm the man with the plan over here. Um, these are, <laughs> these are my nunchucks. <laughs> That my my dad actually smuggled these back over the border, and um, I think he was bad at me when he did it because I've never actually hurt anyone else with these things, but I've beat the high holy hell out of myself on numerous occasions <laughs> because he didn't he didn't supply nunchuck lessons with the nunchucks. <laughs> Just give me the nunchucks, and um, I'm gonna see here. This is my lava lamp. And, um, apparently it takes about 30 minutes to heat up. I didn't know that. I, I thought that the thing was broken. I'm a pretty impatient guy, so, you know, that, that was 80 bucks well spent, apparently. And, uh, um, this is some other stuff. Uh, this is a film canister, which is empty. <laughs> thought it was going to be something interesting, didn't you? Not always. <laughs> That's the life lesson there. And uh, I'll say a bit about myself now. I actually I had a job. Um, I had a job during the summer. I'll tell you what. I worked down at the Safeway. And uh, you know those automatic doors that uh, slide open when you walk up to them? It was my job to clean those. Um, which sounds simple in theory. Until you realize you can't walk up to the damn things. <laughs> um, my career at Safeway lasted about three and a half hours. And if you're thinking three and a half hours is a very short time to have a job trying to sneak up on electronic doors, you're wrong. Because that is a very long time to try to wear down electronic doors because those things have very good stamina. I don't know, they must work out or something, but I, I, I tried to trick them. I tried to, like, sneak up on them by walking up to them backwards. And, ah! But no, to no avail. And, um, I'll talk about music now. Well, music, I like music in my life. Um, I like Hanson. Those guys are pretty good. I kind of have a respect for Hanson, and I really, I really actually like their early stuff. You know, back in the mid-'70s, that was... They rocked back then. Before they went all mainstream, they were just a nice little garage band, three little babies. They were awesome. They sang the Alphabet song, which was very big back then, because, you know, 
they they had a target audience. Here is um here's just stuff in my room. These are my clothes on my floor because it's a lot easier to get at that way I find. <laughs> and you know, cupboards you gotta open and close them. I'm, I don't need that stuff, you know. I just reach down and grab my wardrobe for the day. This is my other part of my low ceiling. <laughs> This is uh, tapes. I don't know what any of these tapes are, but I think I think I think Who Shot Kennedy is on one of these actually. But I'm not sure about that. Uh, this, is, this is a oh my god! It's Alf. <laughs> Alf here. He looked bigger on TV, but like I said, I'm seven foot six, so <laughs> this is this is the actual Alf doll used on the show. I got that at an auction. This is a hand grenade carrier. <laughs> because, um, you know, I collect antiquities. This was actually used during uh, World War II. And it fell into my hands somehow. No, actually, I got it for five bucks at a flea market. But hey. And, uh, I've talked about music before. I like I like I like lots of bands. I like um the Marilyn Manson. I, I <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Um they're they're pretty good. Uh if you like if you like an album completely full of distortion and microphone feedback, which some people like, but hey you can't dance to it is what I say. And uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not any way religious, but actually, after listening to this album, I really felt the need to pray for forgiveness, because lots of the stuff in here is just very, very scary. <laughs> and um, and I actually like Marilyn Manson until I realized that a chimp in a diaper could produce the same music he does. So. I don't know, maybe the chimp in the diaper will be their accompaniment on the next album, but I don't know. And, up. Uh, it's time you guys go. You gotta go. I'm sorry. Thanks for coming, but you really should go now. Okay, thanks. All right.